in 2006 and his uh, yoga journey more than about 20 years he has so many certification courses about uh, these courses uh, he will uh, give insight more about uh, himself but uh, few of uh, these courses are certified uh, yoga trainer by patanjali yogpeet haridwar and certified yoga uh, central board Asutosh Singh is the founder and representative and chief seva officer of Patanjali Japan Foundation and he is devoted to seva seva in hindi and japanese has same meaning to do seva and give back to the society whatever we have received from it Asutosh ji is devoted to spread the knowledge of yoga in japan by blessings and inspirations of परम पूज्य स्वामी रामदेव जी महाराज ही स्टार्टेड हिज जर्नी इन योगा फ्रॉम पतंजलि योग पीठ हरिद्वार करंटली ही इज वर्किंग एज ए सेक्रेटरी जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी ऑफ योगा फेडरेशन एंड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष सो आई वेलकम ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ काइट ग्रुप इंस्टीट्यूशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू हु आर प्रेजेंट in this program and i also thankful to join the program uh, miss sara miyama suhani kudwa and uh, dhanasri det aman khandari and poonam ma'am also now i invite mr asutosh for the insights about the program in more details asutosh sir please आपको मेरी आवाज आ रही है यस सर और मेरा कैमरा भी दिख रहा है कैमरा नहीं दिख रहा है सर अच्छा अच्छा अभी दिख रहा है ओके हाँ दिख रहा है सर ओके अरी का तो जयमास थैंक यू नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग ओहायो गुजायमास एंड सुप्रभात हैप्पी रिपब्लिक डे गणतंत्र दिवस की हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं सबसे पहले तो मैं डॉक्टर कर्नल अमित गर्ग सर का डायरेक्टर के आई ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशंस डॉक्टर सतीश कुमार सर डीन स्टूडेंट वेलफेयर डॉक्टर संगीता अरुणा मैम एंड डॉक्टर प्रमोद कुमार शर्मा सर आप सबका हार्दिक धन्यवाद करना चाहता हूं कि आपने यह सुअवसर हमें दिया इस कार्यक्रम को लीड करने के लिए इसको ऑर्गेनाइज करने के लिए और सभी को योग से रूबरू कराने के लिए कह सकते हैं एक स्टार्ट स्टार्ट कराने के लिए अब मेरे पास इतना कुछ तो नहीं है बोलने के लिए क्योंकि आपने ऑलरेडी इतना कुछ बोल दिया है मेरे लिए और मैं के का हार्दिक आभार प्रकट करता हूं क्योंकि के ने जो नॉलेज जो स्किल्स हमें जो दी है उसके कारण ही मैं जापान आ पाया हूँ अगर के में मैं नहीं पढ़ा होता मुझे वो स्किल्स नहीं मिलती वो टेक्नोलॉजी नॉलेज नहीं मिलती तो मैं शायद मैं जापान नहीं आ पाता और मेरे जैसे और भी स्टूडेंट्स हैं हमारे जो अपनी अपनी फील्ड में आगे बढ़ रहे हैं हमें लगता है कि हम जब जापान में भी हम काम करते हैं तो हम अपने यूनिवर्सिटी का एक रिप्रजेंटेटिव हम कर रहे हैं हम प्रतिनिधित्व कर रहे हैं हमारे यूनिवर्सिटी का क्योंकि हम जो भी करते हैं हमें हमारा बैकग्राउंड यही पूछा जाता है कि आप कौन से यूनिवर्सिटी में पढ़े हो तो उसके लिए मैं हार्दिक अभिनंदन करता हूं मैं बहुत ही सौभाग्यशाली हूं कि मुझे आप सबके साथ आप सबके सानिध्य में मुझे पढ़ाई करने का अवसर मिला और सूर्य नमस्कार यह है प्रोग्राम जैसे हम सभी जानते हैं कि पचहत्तर वर्ष हमारे देश के आजादी को स्वतंत्र स्वतंत्रता को हो गए हैं इस वर्ष तो ये यह वर्ष और अगले वर्ष और उसके अगले वर्ष भी हम तीन वर्ष मिला के आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव मनाएंगे और उसके उपलक्ष्य में अलग अलग प्रकार के हम इवेंट्स प्रोग्राम कार्यक्रम कर रहे हैं जिसके अंदर की पिछहत्तर करोड़ सूर्य नमस्कार एक प्रोग्राम है और हमारे स्टूडेंट्स के लिए 
तो इतना कुछ नहीं है बताने के लिए क्योंकि आज के स्टूडेंट जो है उनको हमसे अधिक नॉलेज है हमारे समय में हम नॉलेज के लिए हमें इधर उधर जाना पड़ता था पर आज की जो स्थिति है इस जीवन में सबके पास कोई भी नॉलेज हम अपने हाथों में हमारे पास कोई भी नॉलेज होती है तो बस आप के लिए यही कहना चाहूंगा कि यह दिन जो है और इसके बाद आने वाले जो दिन है हमारे 20, 25, 26 दिन है शायद डेली हम सूर्य नमस्कार करेंगे तो हो सकता है कि आपके लिए एक नई जर्नी हो कुछ लोग तो योग डेली जीवन शैली में करते ही हैं तो अभ्यास करते हैं पर हो सकता है कुछ लोगों के लिए नई शुरुआत हो हो सकता है कि हम अपने जीवन को एक नए आयाम की तरफ देखने लगे और एक नए डायमेंशन के रूप में हम उसको सोचने का हमें अवसर मिले तो आप इसको इस पूरी जर्नी को एंजॉय कीजिए और अपने ऊपर कोई फोर्स कोई फोर्स मत डालिए कि ये हमें करना ही है ये क्यों करना है हमें जस्ट अपने बॉडी अपने माइंड को कंट्रोल करने के लिए यह एक अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी है अच्छा उसको अवसर है हम सभी के लिए तो बस मेरी तरफ से तो इतना ही है और सभी को आप सभी को दोबारा से गणतंत्र दिवस की हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं <coughs> अभी सुहानी सेंसे को पास ऑन करना चाहूंगा सुहानी सेंसे प्राइस को लीड करेंगी सुहानी सेंसे एंड सारा सेंसे थैंक यू शुमास आशुतोष जी प्लीज प्रेजेंट द कंटेंट स्लाइड्स प्लीज Okay, so uh, good morning, everybody. And in uh, Japan, we say konnichiwa. So a word for you to know. It's called konnichiwa, which means hello in Japanese. Uh, my name is Suhani, and I have uh, Miss Sara Miyama out here. Hi, mera naam Sara Miyama hai. Namaste. <laughs> and uh, happy Republic Day to everybody. And let's begin this Republic Day with a more power active Surya Namaskar. So today we are just going to explain you what Surya Namaskar is, followed by thirteen rounds of Surya Namaskar. We want you to experience that because saying is very easy. When you experience it, you will feel that there is a difference in you. So let's begin, and I'll just quickly go through, uh, you know, what we are going to do today. So we have we are done with the greetings, and now we go to a little more detail about, you know, you we've spoken about Ashutosh Ji. now we are a few members out here in japan who are helping him out to grow yoga in japan and uh, as uh, we we can you see faces out here this is sara sensei we call teacher as sensei so miss sara out here uh, myself as suha <laughs> okay thank you and uh, we also have uh, miss dhanashri and miss aman uh, uh, kandari who is teaching from india uh, and he teaches yoga as well so this is our teachers team we also have a back end team uh, which helps us in a lot of marketing and uh, other things around like website and all that so i'll just name them it's uh, mr kirti miss nora mr harshit and miss poonam ji so who is helping us in developing and creating more awareness about patanjali uh, japan in in japan so let us go to the next step now this is basically the schedule which uh, you know we want you to follow we you already have the link so every day from tomorrow onwards 8 am india time bharat time it's written out here we we would like you to practice 13 rounds there'll be no explanation we will just do 13 rounds of surya namaskar uh, all the way through to i mean starting from today all the way to 20th february which is sunday which is the sankalp purti divas and we would like you to definitely attend this and tell your experiences so definitely we would recommend that you know you try this and uh, see the difference in yourself now one more thing is these are the teachers who's going to teach every day from 8 to 8:20 you can take a snapshot if you want a, a picture just in case you want to know which teacher is teaching and also that uh, uh, as a you know as a yoga teacher would definitely recommend you to do every single day till uh, 20th of february but uh, due to certain reasons you know you may not be able to attend every day in that case you know we would definitely let recommend you to do at least 21 days 
So if you do 21 days, then you get a certificate and we'll definitely show you what the certificate is like. But uh, if not every day, then at least 21 days, just to see the difference in you. And instead of talking much, just have this firsthand experience. And uh, Ashutosh Ji, the next slide, please. Yeah, so this is the certificate which you will receive if you do 21 days of yoga. And it's a big event in India and outside of India as well as we are doing in Japan. So please feel that spirit, please feel the uh, necessity of yoga in your life uh, so that this is one way to you know, achieve it by getting a certificate, a motivation. So yes, uh, really recommend it. Okay, so we go forward and now I will just explain you. Uh, okay, before that, uh, what do you think your target would be like? I mean, for 21 days that you're doing every day, 13 rounds, okay, every day, 13 rounds, how much do you think as a group we can target? You may, you may, you may talk it out or you can write it in chat. I'm just giving you one minute. Uh, so please, please, uh, you know, get into this group. So let me know how many rounds do you think as a team we could do it. Uh, I want your participation. Otherwise, I won't know. <laughs> uh, I'm not a magician. So please write down something at least or say it. Okay, something has come. Great. Okay. Uh, anyway, we don't have much time. Sorry. So we will go ahead. We are aiming for, yes, Ashutosh san, 30,000 rounds, which is for 21 days. Uh, we really like your participation in this. So let's do it. Uh, in, in Japan, we have already finished, uh, you know, 10,000 rounds and we are aiming for 20,000. Japan being a small country, you know, we aim small, but India is a big country. So let's aim more bigger than this and let's go for this. Okay, next slide, please. So a little introduction to Surya Namaskar. I mean, we know, you know, in India, we know the meaning of Surya Namaskar. Surya is basically sun and Namaskar is basically salutation. So uh, in old times, you know, we basically used to pray to sun God. Sun God is very important in all the cultures, not just in India. So you can see in the next slide, uh, as you can see in Japan, you know, it's called Amat Amate Rasu, which is also a sun god. And in different countries, uh, China, Greece, everywhere, the sun has a very important place uh, because it gives you energy. It gives you positivity. It gives you uh, uh, vitality. So that's the reason why, you know, sun is a very important place in a lot of Asian countries and uh, apart from Asian, even in Europe, as you can see. Next slide. And there are different names to the sun god given in each country, but the meaning is the same, you know, just to pray to sun god and get that energy in you. All right. So next slide. Now, this is actually what we'll be doing today, 13 rounds of Surya Namaskar. It is considered as 12 poses. So if you do 12 poses together in a combination, it's called as one round. And we start with right leg, left leg, and alternately. So basically, we do 12 poses at one go. Uh, and we will explain you in more detail when we do a demonstration where uh, what exactly you should focus on and what you should be doing. So next slide, please. Okay, this is very important. I mean, we are all aware first and the most important thing is you need to listen to your body. If your body says, I am tired, then you should stop doing it. You shouldn't do it, please. So you get a signal from your body, listen to your body, don't push so much. Also, um, how to do, we will explain you a little more later with benefits. You know, it's written out here, but I would suggest definitely experience it by yourself. There are loads of benefits which are not written, but you can definitely see. And one important thing is precaution. So when you should not do a uh, previous slide, please. Yes, thank you. So when you should not be doing it is first, if you have fever, and especially in Corona, Omicron situation, you might feel lethargic. You might feel a uh, little, you know, cold and cough. Uh, you might feel sore throat. That is the time you shouldn't be doing it. So please stop and just relax. That is the most important thing. Also, if you have, if you're a cardiac patient, like a heart patient, or if you have high blood pressure, you need to check with your doctor first. If he or she says, okay, then you can go ahead and do it. Otherwise, please don't do Surya Namaskar because it's a more cardio 
cardiovascular uh, exercise so it activates everything so that's the reason why a high blood pressure patient you know should not be doing it uh, unless it's advised by the doctor and for women especially when you have menstruation uh, we recommend i mean we have also experience so we it's a first hand information we are letting you know that please don't do it during those 3 to 5 days just relax if your body feels okay then gradually start don't push yourself so much so uh, and obviously as you know all exercises need empty stomach so also in yoga we say please perform on empty stomach especially uh, in the morning you know after you you clear your bowels you go to the toilet and uh, your stomach is empty and that's the time you do perform the any kind of exercise or even surya namaskar so this one precaution is very important please keep that in mind okay next slide please and uh, yeah these are again various you know benefits of surya namaskar even if you google it you'll get all these uh, things out there it's right out there how it affects your mental physiological uh, physical even spiritual level so i would definitely suggest rather than reading practice it you feel it and you tell us what do you feel about it you know so we would like to take life examples for you to do it uh, next slide please okay now the most important thing is basically uh, especially for you know uh, university students or uh, people who are using c- computers a lot of day because of corona you cannot you know physically go out and you are sitting whole day long what ha- happens is when you sit a lot of times you slouch like this or your head is in front because you are typing on the computer because of that as you can see on the left side you know your vertebral column it slowly weakens out so then you have a lot of kind of problems in your body you know you have uh, kind of slip disc you have frozen shoulder you have stiff neck so all these problems occur because of long hours of sitting on one place and focusing a lot on one thing so we definitely suggest that when you stand or when you sit you know as you can see on the right side it's written pelvic forward tilt or neutral or backward tilt a lot of times we kind of when we stand we take too much pressure on our back so basically our Uh, if this is your spine you take a lot of pressure like this when you're standing unknowingly so the whole thing is you should be aware of your body how you're standing how you're sitting because if you don't then your spine gradually i mean we are all young right now we don't realize but when you're 60s and 70s uh, you know we have a lot of back problems a lot of other problems so to avoid that for future we should be standing straight with you know with our buttocks in pull in and then uh, not giving too much pressure on our back so uh, because a, a lot of pressure in your back creates more curve and your body will be like this then so try to keep it straight buttocks in and sit uh, this also we will be doing when we do surya namaskar uh, demonstration as well next round please okay so before we start the 13 rounds i would also i hope you have prepared a mat as well i will first demonstrate with uh, ms sara how to stand and how to do uh, surya namaskar and then from there we will start 13 rounds of surya namaskar so let's get into it hi hi all right so i hope you all can see us basically when you're standing the most important thing is your toes your two fingers as you can see the two fingers should you should lift your toe fingers up and you have basically the pressure points uh, out here on your toes so with all these pressure points on this part grip the ground okay keep it straight so the moment you grip the ground your buttocks will automatically go in and imagine your legs between your legs you have a zipper so imagine you're zipping up your legs pull your legs up push your buttocks in grip the ground so this is your basically the legs which should be stable the next your shoulders you're going to push your shoulders a little behind relaxed next you're going to turn your hands okay imagine you're joining your shoulder blades behind so feeling of shoulder blades relax okay and slowly turn your palms next your neck and your chin your chin shouldn't be all the way out it should be in line with your neck so this is called a proper posture not just for surya namaskar even when you're standing this is the posture where your neck is not too way ahead your back is straight your buttocks are in so this is like everyday use 
thing which you can use it every day practically please remember this one is legs second is pull your legs you imagine you're zipping up your legs up buttocks in shoulders spread and neck back so this is your posture which you should try doing it every single day next we will start first with the first round of surya namaskar so you will join your palms in front of your chest next you will raise both your hands up and you bend back so slowly bend back now miss sara has been practicing for years so she is that flexible but you don't have to be flexible you can even bend a little back with this much if you can do this much is also fine as per your capacity once you bend back then you bend forward again don't bend your legs keep your legs straight keep bending forward and now touch if you can touch the ground if not stay wherever you can and if you have the capacity touch your forehead to the knees but not compulsory as per your convenience okay now bend your legs and put your right leg behind stretch your right leg behind now the most important thing now here is if you're doing it for the first time you may feel a pressure on your shin and your back the the back leg okay so if you feel too much pressure you should relax a little bit okay try not to get your knees out outside your toe line okay this is only if you are comfortable you should do it if not your toe the knee should be with the toe line straight then next is put your palms on the floor your left leg goes with your right leg now important thing is out here is your hip hip or your buttock should face the ceiling and if you can touch your heels to the ground if not you know you can bend your legs so if you cannot do it you can bend your legs this is also okay no problem as per again your convenience if you can put your heels on the ground and important thing is no not too much pressure on your shoulders okay feel the whole stretch to your whole body right from the head fingers back all the way till down next put both your knees on the floor okay then next put your chest on the floor and the chin on the floor again don't spread your elbows out elbows are always sticking to your body like a cobra so you are you're going into a cobra pose you'll be putting your hands here and come up into a cobra pose slide up put your head up and slide up again relax your shoulders both arms straight look behind and feel the stretch of your back then slowly come up on your toes and again the same pose if you can touch your heels to the floor if not you can bend your legs okay your right leg between both the hands and you will look up okay if you if it is difficult then the leg which is behind you can put the knees on the floor but if you feel you are flexible you should not put it on the floor it should be floating on the in the air after this your left leg comes forward okay again important thing relax your shoulders relax your body okay if you can touch your head, forehead to the knees if not wherever possible slowly now both hands come in front get your both hands in front slowly come up bend back again relax feel the stretch then slowly come back join your palms up get it in front of your chest so this is round 1 with 12 yoga poses now i want everybody we will be letting you know the next round with breathe in and breathe out so just follow us we will start with the right leg so i hope you are already standing on your yoga mat and let's begin 13 rounds okay so your feet together join your palms in front of your chest okay push your shoulders out buttocks in firm grip on the floor chin inside pull in little bit okay breathe in and breathe out now breathe in from the nose breathe out from the nose all the time now breathe in get both your hands in the air and bend back now please remember not to overdo it because we've been practicing regularly wherever you are stop there if you can go behind breathe out 
Bend forward, knee straight. Breathe in, right leg back and look up. Breathe out, palms on the floor, left leg back. If you can, touch your heels on the floor. If not, stay there, feel the stretch. Breathe in, your knees on the floor, chest on the floor, chin on the floor and elbow near your body. Breathe out, slide and do Cobra Pose or Bhujangasan. Feel the stretch. Come on your toes, breathe in, lift your body up. If you can, touch your heels on the floor. Feel the stretch. Breathe out, right leg between both the hands and look up. Breathe in, back leg together, bend. Breathe out, both hands from front. Get up and stretch back. Breathe in, join your palms, breathe out. Your hands in front of your chest. This is round one. Now round two with your left leg, you'll do the same thing. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, both hands up, bend back, stretch, breathe out, bend forward, knee straight, breathe in, left leg back, look up, breathe out, right leg back, heels on the floor, stretch, breathe in, Knees, chest, chin on the floor, elbows inside. Breathe out, slide and go into cobra pose. Breathe in, come on your toes, heels on the floor. Breathe out, left leg in front, look up. Breathe in, right leg in front, bend. Breathe out. Both hands up, bend back. Breathe in, join your palms together and breathe out in front of your chest. And relax. This is round two. Now round three, we will do with right leg. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, both hands up, bend. Breathe out, forward. Breathe in, right leg back, look up. Breathe out, left leg back, heels on the floor. Stretch. Breathe in, knees, chest, chin on the floor, elbows inside. Breathe out, get slide and go into cobra pose. Breathe in, come on your toes, lift your body up, heels on the floor. Breathe out, right leg in front, look up. Breathe in, left leg in front, bend. Breathe out, look up, bend. Breathe in, palms together, breathe out. Now round four, left leg. Breathe in, breathe out, both hands up. Breathe in, breathing out, bend forward. Breathe in, left leg back, look up. Breathe out, palms on the floor and right leg back, heels on the floor, stretch. Breathe in, knees, chest, chin on the floor, elbows in. Breathe out, slide and get into cobra pose. Breathe in, lift your body up, heels on the floor, stretch. Breathe out, left leg in front, look up. Breathe in, right leg in front, bend. Breathe out, look up, bend back, breathe in, join your palms, and breathe out. Round five, uh, right leg. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, bend. Breathe out, forward. Breathe in, right leg back, look up. Breathe out, left leg back, stretch heels on the floor. Breathe in, knees, chest, elbow on the floor. 
Breathe out, slide and look up. Cobra pose, Bhujangasana. Breathe in, thumb on your toes, stretch. Breathe out, right leg in front, look up. Breathe in, left leg in front, bend forward, knee straight. Breathe out, both hands from front, stretch. Breathe in, palms together, breathe out. Now sixth round, left leg. Breathe in, breathe out and breathe in, bend. Breathe out, bend forward. Breathe in, left leg back, look up. Breathe out, right leg back, stretch heels on the floor. Breathe in, knees, chest, elbow on the floor. Breathe out, slide, look up. Breathe in, toes up, get your body up. Breathe out, left leg in front, look up. Breathe in, right leg in front, bend forward. Breathe out, both hands from up. Stretch, breathe out. Join your palms, breathe in and breathe out. So we have completed six rounds. We'll take a small few seconds break. So I want you to stand feet apart. With your one hand, hold your wrist and just relax. Close your eyes, feet apart, get into normal breathing. Okay. So while you're getting back to normal breathing, you can just listen to my voice. Uh, important thing is do not jerk. There is no jerky actions because if you jerk, you know, your muscles might get spasms, like it will get tight. So please do it as per, do it slowly and with no jerks. And even if you can't reach the normal last pose, like for example, touching your forehead to the knees, it is okay. I mean, it will be gradually. So please enjoy it. Don't do forcibly, but enjoy it and do it. Okay. So now we will take over. Sara Sensei will do from seventh round to 13th round and she will give you instructions and we will follow her. So let's begin again. Okay, let us start. Seven, rounds of, seven more rounds of Sriya Namaskara. Come, top of the mat, feet together, hands by your side, open your chest, look in front, shoulder relax, and take deep breath. Inhale, deep breath through your nose. Exhale, all the air out. Next, inhale, palms together in front of your chest. Exhale, deep breath. Next, inhale, let your arms up, reach up and arch back. Exhale, hold, hold, palms down. Inhale, right leg back, knees down, feet pointing backward and look up. Exhale, palms down, push forward, hips up, Come in bodied B, Parvakasana, and shift your body in plank position. Inhale, knees down. Exhale, chest between your hands, forehead down. Slide your pelvis to the floor, forehead down, and your elbows touching on your body. And inhale, strong core, and head up, chest up, look toward the sky, cobra pose. Exhale, keep up, come in bolted three. Inhale, lie leg between your palms, knees down, look up. Exhale, left leg, left leg forward and bend forward. Inhale, lift your arms up, stretch and backward bend. And come back, palms together, Exhale, bring to your chest. Left side. Inhale, both arms up and arch back. Exhale, hold, hold. Inhale, left leg back, knee down, look up. Exhale, hips up. Inverted V. Exhale, shift your body and inhale, knees down, chest down, chin down. Shift your body. Hip down, forehead down. 
Inhale, it come into cobra. Exhale, hips up high as much as you can. And try to reach heels to the floor. Inhale, left leg forward. Knees down, look up. Exhale, right leg forward. And core bending. Inhale, arms up. Reach up, stretch and back bend. Inhale, coming back, palms together. Exhale, bring to your chest. Inhale, arms up and arch back. Exhale, palms hold forward. Palms on the floor. Inhale, right leg back, knee down, look up. Ashwa Sanjana. Exhale, hips up, Parvatasana. Shift your body, plank position. Knee down, chest down, forehead down. Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, lift your body up, look up, cobra pose. Exhale, lift your hip, come in bodice B. Parvatasana. Inhale, left leg forward, look up. Ashwa Sanjana. Right leg forward. Inhale, right leg forward and forward bend. Inhale, arms forward, reach up the sky and back bend. Inhale, coming back, hands together. Exhale, bring to your chest. Right, left side. Inhale, arms up, stretch and back bend. Exhale, reach forward and down. Inhale, left leg backward, knee down, look up. Exhale, hips up, inverted B. Inhale, left leg forward, knee down, look up. Ah, sorry, knee down, chest down, forehead down. Ashtanga Namaskara. Shift your body and forehead down. Inhale, Bhujangasana, look up. Exhale, lift your hips up, come in body B. Inhale, left leg between your hands, look up. Exhale, left right leg forward and forward bend. Inhale, both arms reach up to the sky and back bend. Inhale, coming back, hands together. Exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, both arms up. Stretch and back bound. Exhale, reach forward and down. Inhale, left leg forward, right leg backward. Look up. Exhale, keep up, come in body B. Exhale, shift your body, front position. Inhale, knee down, chest down, chin down. Shift your body. And forehead down, deep inhale, come into cobra. Exhale, lift your hips up. Next, inhale, right leg forward, look up. Inhale, left leg forward, and exhale, hold forward. Inhale, both arms up, stretch, and arch back. Coming back. Palms together, exhale, bring to your chest. Deep inhale, both arms up, arch back. Exhale, reach forward and down, palms on the floor. Inhale, left leg back, look up. Exhale, hips up. Shift your body to the front position, knee down, chest down, chin down. Shift your body for, forward, forehead down. Inhale deeply, come into cobra. Exhale, Botox up, come in body V. Inhale, left leg forward, look up. Exhale, right leg forward and forward bend. Inhale, both arms up. Reach up and stretch. Inhale, coming back. Hands together. 
Exhale, bring to your chest. Last round. Inhale, both arms up, stretch and arch back. Exhale, hold forward, palms on the floor. Inhale, left leg back, look knees down, look up. Exhale, hips up as high as much as you can. And shift your body to the plank position. Knees down, chest down, chin down. Shift your body, go ahead down. Deep inhale, come into cobra. Exhale, hips up, inverted V. Exhale, inhale, right leg forward, look up. Exhale, left leg forward, lengthening your spine and hold, hold. Inhale, arms up, stretch and arch back. Inhale, coming back. Hands together, exhale, bring to your chest. Okay. Okay, we are finishing 13 rounds of Surya Namaskar. And after this practice, we should lie down on your mat and rest in Shavasana. Let body pose. So lie down on your back, on your mat. Arms, arms apart, legs, legs apart, and close your eyes. Now we are going to do a dead body posture. So hold your body, relax. Take a few moments being conscious on your body. Make yourself comfortable on the mat. Mentally scan yourself, body from feet to head. Relax your body. Feel your whole body slowly relaxing on the mat. Relax the mind. Let go the cares, study, concerns of the day. You are going to be with yourself relaxing and recharging. The body and mind fills the mind calm and relaxed. Oh. Now, put the awareness each every part, part of your body. We put the conscious particular part and relax the part. Now, relax your feet, relax your ankles, relax your calf muscles, relax your thing, relax your thighs, front and back side. My entire legs and feet are relaxing. I'm relaxing my Botox. I'm relaxing my internal organs. I'm relaxing lower back, middle back, upper back. My entire back and Botox are relaxed. I'm relaxing my chest. I'm relaxing my shoulders. I'm relaxing my heart. I'm relaxing my lungs. My chest and shoulders are completely relaxing. I'm relaxing my upper arms, elbows, and lower arms, palms, wrist, each every fingers, 
relaxing. My entire arms are relaxed. I'm relaxing my neck, front side, back side, right side, and left side. My whole neck is relaxing. Now, put your awareness on your face. Soften your facial muscles. I'm relaxing my lips, upper lip, lower lip, my tongue, soften. I'm relaxing my cheeks, right side and left side. I'm relaxing my nose. And I can do nice and long, deep breathing. I'm relaxing my eyes, eyelids, eyeballs are relaxed. I'm relaxing my forehead, ears, right side and left side. My entire face is relaxed. I'm relaxing my head, right side, left side, front side, back side. My entire head is relaxing. Finally, we are slow down our mind. Let go and surrender this moment. Allow yourself into relaxation. Relax, relax, relax. Oh, um. now coming back to your body and now lift your arms uh, backward to your head, interlace your finger and palms facing outside and bring the legs together and Toes pointing out. Stretch, inhale, stretch, 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 and exhale, relief. Now, turn your body one side. And when you're ready, coming back to the cross leg seated position. So uh, please slowly sit up and cross your legs. Uh, sit in a comfortable position. If you, if it's difficult to sit on the floor and cross your legs, you can even sit on a chair. That's okay. Uh, we will do a little bit of pranayam breathing, followed by your uh, because you use a lot of computer, so your eyes get tired. We are going to use a little bit of eye exercise as well. You know, which you can do any time of the day. So please, uh, let's do that now. First, we will do pranayam. So sit in cross legs, use your right hand. Now, all you're going to use is your thumb and your little finger. So your first, second and third finger, you can bend it. So this is how it is. Now, with your little finger, or pinky finger, as we say, close your left nostril, ready, uh, gently. And then now all you have to do is breathe in from the right side. So you will breathe in from the right nostril. Now with your thumb, you're going to close the right nostril and with the left side, you're going to breathe out. So rela relax your pinky finger, breathe, from, breathe out from the left. Okay, now you will breathe again from the left side. So breathe in from the left side. 
With your pinky finger, close your nostril, relax your thumb and breathe out from the right side. Breathe out slowly. Okay. This is the movement and you can relax right now. This is the movement which we will do in case if you have blocked nose, you know, you may not be able to breathe in and breathe out. In that case, you can just relax. Don't use your mouth, please. Uh, don't breathe in from your mouth or breathe out. If you feel you have a blocked nose, just relax. So don't do anything. Just do normal breathing. So we will again start. Use your, with your right thumb, close your right nostril. Okay, now breathe in from the left. Now close your left nostril and breathe out from the right side. Breathe out. Breathe in from the right. Close your right nostril. Breathe out from the left. Okay, last time. Breathe in from the left. Close your left nostril. Breathe out from the right. Now relax both your hands. So put your hands on the lap and get into normal breathing. Okay, so if you regularly use this kind of, there are different pranayams, I'm sure quite a lot of you are aware. So please do keep practicing because in Corona times, breathing is the most important thing. So yeah, let's hope we are all very healthy all the time. Now last is, uh, we will do the eye exercise. Uh, if you're wearing glasses or contact lenses, if you're wearing contact lenses, please do not do it. If you're wearing glasses, please take it off. And all you need to do is uh, basically you will be rotating your eyes. So without blinking and without moving your head, when I say look up, just your eyes will look towards the ceiling. Okay, don't move your head and don't try to blink. Now look down towards the tip of your nose without blinking. If you feel there is tears coming out of your eyes, just close your eyes. Okay, now... Look to the left shoulder, towards your left shoulder. Imagine you're looking towards the left shoulder without moving your head. Now slowly turn your grace to the right shoulder. Okay. You will feel the eye muscles getting stretched. Feel that. Okay. Now look towards 45 degree angle right side towards the ceiling. Okay, your right side towards the ceiling, 45 degrees around. Now, look towards the left side towards the floor, 45 degree angle. Now, look towards the left side upwards towards the ceiling, 45 degree angle. And right side below, 45 degree angle towards the floor. And slowly close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. If you have tears coming, just let it go. Let it happen. Okay. Slowly rub both your palms. And keeping your eyes closed, slowly cup your eyes with your hands. Okay, feel that heat. Now keeping your hands there, slowly open your eyes. And slowly drop both your hands. Okay, so we complete today's session out here. Uh, Thank you so much for attending. We will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. And let's do this all the way till 20th of February. Thank you so much for your time, all, all of you. Take care. And if you have any questions right now, please feel free, free to ask us any questions. We are open to any kind of questions. Thank you. Thank you. So, Pramod sir, do you have any question or any any student? No, sir, I have no question. If anyone have, then please ask. Thank you. Eight session. I think no one have. Okay, everyone was doing it properly. Yes, sir.
फ्री कर रहे थे या मतलब देख रहे थे बस क्या कर रहे थे सो दैट विल बी ऑल का ना सो सी यू टुमारो फ्रॉम टुमारो एट एट ए एम ओके जब भारत टाइम ओके सर थैंक यू थैंक यू Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. You. Namaste. Have a nice day. Mm. Happy Republic Day. Republic Day. Good holiday.